Hey everybody, it's Justin from LiveSpeak with Justin the Geek. I want to show you today how to use Stereo Mix. Uh, for those that don't have mixers or controllers um, or any other fancy limiters or any kind of equipment and you just want to have callers on your show, uh, Stereo Mix is a good alternative. I used it for probably the first 10 or 12 of my shows. Um, the only downside, if I'm honest, there is a little echo that goes through your headphones. Um, but like I said, I did use it for 10 or 12 shows and I just dealt with it. I was able to get used to it. So if you're willing to try it, it's worth a shot. It's nice to be able to have callers on your show through Skype or whatever other program you use. Um, what Stereo Mix does, it basically uh, routes everything into one pipe. So uh, you don't have so many different channels going everywhere. It just kind of all goes into one thing. That's as simplified as I can make it. Um, so let's jump right in. Uh, I have Windows 7 here. It's, in my opinion, it's the easiest to use for stereo mix. Um, I don't know, it's just set up really nice for it. Um, other With Windows XP, you have to have other software um, to reroute things. Windows 7 has stereo mix built right into it. So uh, go ahead and click on Start. Go to your control panel. And then mine looks like this because I changed it from category up here to large icons. Normally, yours probably looks like this. This is by default. It's broken up into categories. I don't like that. I like to be able to see what I need right away. Um, so what we need here in control panel is sound. So go into sound here. Just click on that. And now under playback, you'll have a couple options. Line out for me. This is my Scarlett controller. That's where my microphone and my headphones are plugged in. Um, and then I have my speakers here, which if I had speakers plugged in, that's where they would go. Uh, that comes out of my sound card in my computer. And this is the one that you're going to want to pay attention to here is speakers. Uh, speakers actually is going to have to be uh, your default device and your default communication device. So what you do is you right click like I just did here and select set as default device. And then right click again and select set as default communication device. Okay, so uh, that way your playback is all going through the sound card on your computer, which you need because that's where stereo mix is, is in your sound card, not your headphones. Um, now, under the settings for that, there are some different things in the properties that uh, you don't really need to mess with the levels, the enhancements. Make sure that all sound effects are disabled. Um, this can cause some confusion if you have really strange, um, you know, environment sounds on or, or pitch shift, anything like that. Um, just turn those all off. It makes it easy. Advanced just shows the, the quality uh, Mine set the studio quality. That's as high as I could set it. That works for me. You know, I want it as high as quality as I can. So uh, leave it like that. Just hit OK and you're done with that part. So easy enough so far, right? Um, for the next part for the recording, this is where the stereo mix comes in. Um, right here, I only have one thing showing. And that's my line in. That's my microphone into my controller, my focus right uh, Scarlett 2i2 USB controller. Um, if you have a USB microphone, it will show up in here. If you just have a microphone plugged into the microphone port on your laptop, it will show up right here. Whatever has your levels going, that's the current, um, I wouldn't say current, that's the microphone that you'll be using. Um, to get stereo mix turned on, right here you just right click in the white space and click on show disconnected devices. Right click again and show disabled devices. And this will bring up a bunch of stuff you didn't even know you had. Um, here's a microphone for my webcam that I disabled myself. Um, and then here's for my sound card, um, the other microphone ports that I never used. Just a bunch of junk. What you're looking for is stereo mix. Okay, you're gonna wanna right click on that and click enable. Um, so that turns it on and it should set it to default device. If it doesn't, right click on it, set as default device not default communications device there is a difference your line in that should be the default communications device because that's still your microphone that's what you're communicating with so right click on line in make sure that that is set to default communications device and once again your stereo mix should be default device now we're gonna get into change in the settings here and we'll start with the line in so go ahead and click on that and then click properties to get into the properties there um, and what you want to check here, the first thing is listen. Now this is where 
I got confused on all the videos that I saw on YouTube, all the stuff I was reading, even on Spreaker's website. Yes, Spreaker, I'm sorry. It was confusing. So this is what I missed. Under this Listen tab here for your microphone, you're supposed to click Listen to this device and then set it to Speakers um, or whatever you picked in your playback there for your default device. Uh, whatever your sound card is, usually it's just Speakers. Um, so that's what I missed to begin with. Click on Speakers, make sure it's listening to your playback device. So what it's doing is listening to your playback device. That's that simple. Um, levels, you can just leave that at 100, it doesn't matter, it's just full output. Um, that's fine. Advanced again, this only goes up to CD quality, that's as high as uh, my microphone will go. Um, so that's set again, easy enough so far. Press apply, OK, line in is set. Now for stereo mix, again go into the properties for stereo mix, um, and this is important here. You want to do the listen tab again listen to this device and then you want to select your um, your line out which was uh, your playback device over here that's not set as default I'll show you again here real quick um, over here in playback line out right here it's not selected for anything but we're gonna select it here under stereo mix okay and that's gonna be your headphones so Go to listen to this device, listen to my headphones, press apply, and now you'll have an echo. Um, the levels here, the reason I said press apply is so you can hear it. Your levels, you go in here in stereo mix and you can adjust them and you can automatically hear a difference when you're adjusting um, the noise of the background noise, whatever, but the echo is there right now. so. Um, that's when it turns on. So now you press OK and you can see levels moving here in stereo mix. If I move it up here you'll see levels moving here. If I go to playback you'll see levels moving in both of these. So see that's what stereo mix does is it grabs all of that moving together and on different channels and it just throws it all together in one. So that's it for stereo mix. Now my recommendation to you is to save these settings however you can. Um, because you don't want this on all the time because this echo does get annoying um, but the easiest way would be to take some screenshots and I'll show you one easy way of doing that uh, with Windows 7 it's called the snipping tool for those that don't know click on start down here and type snip um, that'll bring up your snipping tool and all this is is it allows you to grab a chunk of the screen or a snip of the screen so I'll just click and drag over the window here and there you go. I can save this into a folder somewhere. I already have mine set up, stereo mix setting. Name it accordingly. What I mean by that is this is the recording tab uh, line in window. Name it so you can find it. <laughs> Don't name it picture three because that's going to be really difficult to find later. Name it stereo mix line in recording settings you can make your names as long as you want they don't have to be short just name them accordingly um, they're easier to find that way when you need to set it up especially when you need to disable it um, but that is one way of doing it if you want to write it all down by all means do that too but just save these somewhere um, you can always save this video too of course but that's how I do it I save mine um, so now stereo mix is all set up in the sound properties um, go ahead and press OK and now I'm going to show you how to set it up in Skype there's a few settings that you need to set up in Skype um, that way when callers call in it'll be routed to that stereo mix uh, allowing the noise whatever comes through goes onto your show stereo mix allows any noise on your computer no matter what it is it could be this little ding from clicking on your checking your sound that will play through stereo mix onto your broadcast so um, you can play music you can play a movie whatever sound you hear in your headphones will be broadcasted with stereo mix um, even if you hear an echo it's not gonna broadcast with an echo it's just something that messes with your head <laughs> so if you go into Skype and you click on tools at the top here you can go down to options 
this is where your audio settings are over here on the left now what you want to set it as your microphone will stay the same that's going to be what you're talking to your callers with is your microphone for speakers you want to set that as speakers or whatever you remember back in the playback tab that is what you need to set that as so I set that as speakers ringing leave that as your headphones um, but for me I turn off those sounds anyway I turn off all of these um, you can just click mute all sounds mine says enable because they are muted that way if somebody calls during the show and I'm not ready for them uh, the ringing of Skype doesn't interrupt my show so again audio settings leave your microphone selected here and then speakers you want to select whatever you selected in the playback tab of um, the audio settings and then press save and you're ready for that now one last thing you need to do is in Spreaker's console itself uh, and I'll show you you just go to your broadcast and this is something you'll have to do you do it once and it's set up um, go to broadcast here we'll do stereo mix test I'm not gonna promote this um, and then you go into your your console here and of course you allow access like normal but right here if you right click where microphone is go to settings then you can find your microphone down here and this is where you want to pick stereo mix out of the options in here so you pick your stereo mix you can change the volume um, reduce echo is always a good thing to have on and then press close and that's it you're all set that's stereo mix it's all set up you see how this everything as I talk is going through here um, if I let's see here oh here's another test we can do I'll just show you real quick this is what I do just to make sure that the sound is going through you can see the bar over here moving if I do a sound test on here for Skype sound test and I just call that it'll go through over here see now she's talking the British girl from Skype is talking and it was going through on air basically so any caller that comes on here that's gonna be going through so that's it again stereo mix it's a very good thing to have good thing to use if you don't have a mixer or a controller or money to spend on equipment stereo mix is nice to have you don't have to use Skype specifically you can use any other kind of program you want but I recommend Skype that's what Spreaker recommends it's built for that so um, just use that and then when you have enough money buy a mixer you won't have to use stereo mix anymore but I can't emphasize enough to write down or take a snapshot of your settings because it's incredibly difficult to reproduce unless you have some record of it um, I still I've when I was using it up until the 11th show or 12th show I was still using my screenshots and you probably saw me doing it just now during this tutorial because I can't seem to keep it memorized so doesn't hurt doesn't matter um, keep records of it it's nice to have coming from a geek I don't care if I have records and screenshots showing me how to do things um, again thank you for watching um, Justin from Live Speak with Justin the Geek every Sunday at 2 p.m. I interview some Udemy instructors. Tune in. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Take care, guys. Bye.